PDAC 2023 and we are yeah, once again back here at the uh, booth of American Lithium and with me is uh, Lawrence Stefan, the CEO of the company. Thank Lawrence, you very much for you? having me. Thank you very much. So we're here for these uh, interesting lithium drill cores. Um, what do we see here and um, from which project is it? And uh, yeah, could you explain us something about uh, the lithium drilling and, and these uh, drill cores? So let's start with something to make sure that we have the attention of our the people who are working. This rock shouldn't exist, you know. In principle, it's the it's a volcanic tooth that was formed in the region of about 8.8 million years ago, somewhere in the southern part of the Andean Cordillera, as you know, north of the Dicaca Lake in Puno, the region of Puno in Peru. So it's the feeling of what it was probably at the time of volcanic lake. You can recognize very fine sedimentation, you know, and some small components of lapilli tooths, you know, an explosion that was probably very violent. And uh, this volcanic lake, lake was probably covered by tooths, then indurated over time. And uh, it was part of the initial composition of the magma to have very unusual high concentration of lithium, cesium, rubidium, and very high concentration of potassium. So the rock, the way I will, as you look at it, is probably the composition of the spodium in pegmatite, which is the main lithium, represents the main lithium deposits, you know, mineral called spodium, and it's aluminum, uh, it's a lithium silicate. But instead of it being the result of a very long process, pegmatitic process, even the rocks formed during million year of years, deep into the crust of the earth, it's forming as a result of a violent explosion. So rocks like that, were, they were not known to have contents of uh, economic contents of lithium. However, we found it, we knew the entire province had a very high lithium content, so we were very happy when we found it in November 2017, which is probably a very unique way uh, of lithium occurrence in the earth crust, you know. Um, the deposit is very wide, it's probably, it's a round structure, about one by two kilometers, and deep, almost 300 meters thick, making it one of the probably largest resources in the earth and we drilled probably only about uh, 70 percent there are another two targets towards west and we do believe that that part of peru will probably become one of the main lithium producers in the near future what what grades do we speak of here the grades are lower than the normal so the grades are somewhere between pegmatites which usually run about more than one percent lithium oxide and uh, in toward the brines in South America, mostly in Chile and Argentina and Bolivia, where there aren't anything between 500 to 1,500 ppm. Our grade is about 3,500 ppm, which means roughly about 0.8% lithium. So we can call lithium oxide. So we can consider the rock as being like a spodium and poor lithium, a spodium which is richer, sorry, poorer in lithium than a normal spodumene. However, the deposit is very large and has three very important characteristics. Leach is very well at temperatures, extracting lithium in solution, at temperatures well below uh, the reaction that needs spodumene to be heated up to extract lithium from the lattice. So if you have to, in the spodumene case, you have to go up to 1050 degrees. Here we just do it to about 90 degrees Celsius, so it's very low. Leach is very fast just in a couple of hours. And the most important thing, the rock is very, I would say pure, pure, although I'm following my CEO, he likes to call it very pure. It's not such a thing like a pure rock, but in comparison with other deposits like the claystone in the United States, for example, or other clay deposits, doesn't have a lot of other contaminants. It's a rock simply consisting of silica, aluminum, lithium, cesium, rubidium. It's probably the most important concentration of the first group of elements, if you remember, our chemistry schools, you know, the first yeah. group starting with yeah. hydrogen, lithium, yeah. sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. This is what makes Falciani a very interesting deposit. It's quite unique. It was difficult for us to convince the world that we can extract it, but after about one year of intense metallurgical test work, we succeeded. And not only that, we have a very high rate of extraction, almost 90%, which is almost unheard of in any other lithium deposits, but also we produce through direct precipitation, avoiding refining, there is no need to refine it, a lithium carbonate precipitate well in excess of 99.7%. Direct battery grades, so it's a very interesting, unique deposit. The resource is very big. We can mine for anything between 55 to 75 years, assuming humanity will still need lithium in 57 years from now. And uh, 
we like to believe that actually will become one of the main producer of lithium in the world. What is the difference between a hard rock lithium project and a brine lithium project from a geological and maybe also from a production perspective? Okay, so probably the correct action is from the from the occurrence and also from the processing group, you know, sure, definitely. Look, the way to extract, well, let's start with probably a general approach to science, you know, the way to extract lithium through hydrometallurgical processes, you have to have bring to bring lithium in solution. We do not know how to extract lithium in a in a hard form, like for example, the way we did in, the, in antiquity and even today using gravimetric method, methods for gold, you know, when you simply have a gold particle separated in a, in a, in a solid uh, environment. We have to bring everything in solution. That's hydrometallurgy. So the brines, the lithium occurs in the water, in the, so it's very easy to extract. So if it's in a solid rock, we definitely have to crush it to mill it, we have to find a way to bring it into solution and then to extract it. So the process of bringing the rock, that's why the brines are very easy to extract because then you can extract it at low grades of lithium, 500, 700, 1000 ppm, because it's already in solution. We have to bring it in the rocks in solution mm -hmm. and after that to extract it, you know. Okay. So definitely one occurs in a lake, the other one in a type of rock, whether it's podium in tubes like that or clays, there are also micas, a lot of other deposits, and the processing starts from the moment actually when you have it into solution. Okay. okay, Lawrence, thank you very much for this insight yeah, in geology and production of uh, lithium hard rock uh, pro project. And yeah, I would say thanks a lot and all the best for yeah, drilling pleasure. and exploration in, thank in this Thank you for having year. us. Thank, okay. you. thank you very much. Yeah, have a good was, day. That was Lawrence uh, Stefan, a COO of American Lithium, yeah, who gave us this very interesting insight in yeah, geology and drilling of uh, lithium projects. Bye-bye from Toronto.